now live from Palin Music Studios in Springfield, Missouri, it's Wake Up With Greg. Here's your host, Greg. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up With Greg. I am your host, Greg Rosander with Palin Music Center, and hey, it's Friday. It is Friday, the end of a beautiful week. We've got, uh, and not just, it's not just Friday, it's Good Friday. Very important day in the world of, uh, in the world of the world. Let's just call it that. <laughs> As I've said before, I don't really get into religion or politics on this show, but it's Good Friday. So all of you who are followers, believers, happy Good Friday. We got the big Easter coming up on Sunday. So amazing, amazing weekend coming up. Um, all right. So, hey, it's super awesome to be here. It is Friday. It's beautiful outside. Finally, I think spring may actually be here. It's bright and sunny outside. I think we're going to maybe get into the 70s today. Finally, that will be amazing. So I've got my kind of spring colored shirt on today. I'll talk more about that in a minute as we get into that. But hey, who am I? What am I doing? Why am I here? Why should you care? Let me tell you all about it. This, as you know, is Wake Up With Greg. And this is a morning show that I do every weekday morning at 8.30 a.m. Central Time right here on our Palin Music YouTube channel. And why do I do it? Well, primarily I do it to show you some really cool, amazing, awesome instruments uh, that you are able to purchase right now on our website at palinmusic.com. So we've got saxophones, trombones, trumpets, flutes, clarinets. I did a French horn yesterday. We got all kinds of crazy stuff, but they are amazing instruments that you may not be able to find anywhere else online or in the world, whatever. So we've got them, you need them, come and get them. That's why I'm here. The other reason I'm here is to share life with you, share some things that I'm interested in, some of the quirks about me, kind of a get to know me kind of thing. So um, yeah, that's who we are, that's what we do. Um, so let's get the business stuff out of the way. We are at 995 subscribers. I thought for sure coming in this morning we were gonna be at 1,000. We're not there yet, but we can get there and you can help us get there. So here's what you need to do. You need to hit the like button, first of all, if you like the show, which I hope you do. If you don't, tell me why and I'll fix it. <laughs> but hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. That way, that helps us out. It helps us be able to provide more and better content for you guys. And I want to celebrate a thousand subscribers today. So we're only five away. We can do it. I believe in you. If all of you 995 subscribers currently shared this video with 10 of your friends, boom, we could be at 10,000 subscribers by Monday. So I think we can do it. I believe in you all. Um, so share it. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that share button, share it on your Facebooks and your Instagrams and your, you know, all those other social medias that you got out there. Share it, share it, share it, and let's have some fun. And then really for the most fun you can have is join in the chat. We've got a live chat going on. This is a live show happening right now as we speak. So comment, ask questions. I will uh, give you a shout out right here on the screen. Keep it appropriate, of course, but, uh, you know, let's have some fun with it. So those are all the things that you need to do. I've got all the things that I need to do. But right now, the biggest thing I need to do is to say good morning to my good buddy, Max. Good morning, Greg. It's a pleasure to be your Kato to your Green Hornet. Yes, I was hoping for Kato. I, I figured you were either going to go with Kato or you were going to go with Tonto to my Lone Ranger. But, hey, <laughs> Kato to the Green Hornet, I absolutely love it. For those of you who remember, Kato originally played by Bruce Lee, mm -hmm. legendary Bruce Lee, on uh, the TV show The Green Hornet. Killer show, killer stuff. Thank you, my Cato, Max. Good to have you with. And Max, and Max, hey, props to Max. He's done a great job producing the show this week while Jordan has been out, hopefully living the life at the beach this week. Um, I believe he'll be back on Monday, so we'll welcome him back, but we have been absolutely grateful and thankful for Max to be here doing this show with us today. Thank you, Greg. Love you, buddy. I can't Appreciate wait to you. see a very toasty Jordan on a Monday. A very toasty. Yeah, that kid will fry up pretty quick, I would imagine. Bright blonde hair and all that. He's, I'm sure he's got to be all sunny now. All right. So, hey, why don't, we, uh, why don't we dig in and dive into some really cool instruments right now. Mike, good morning. Max to the max. Yes. 
Max is the legend around well, here. You guys. already you buried the lead a little bit. You already mentioned the shirt, but you got to mention the shirt again and your watch. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I buried the lead. I know. Yeah. All right. I've talked about this. Is I'm kind of in repeat mode. I'm kind of at the end of the uh, the winter wardrobe. Check us out on Monday because the spring and summer wardrobe is coming out. We got a whole new line of shirts to share with you. The great uh, spring collection is dropping. <laughs> right. Mmm. Got to get the coffee down. And hey, by the way, guys, I'm going to be all over the place today. I'm, I got all kinds of just weird stuff to share with you. So stick with me because it's going to be fun. But I'm going to be bing, 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 you know, kind of crazy. I'm not really, you know, ADHD or anything like that. But today might be one of those kind of shows. All right. So the shirt, this is an express shirt. This is, I've called this shirt the OG. This is the original shirt that got me started on all these fun, crazy pattern shirts. Uh, we've got some pink and yellow and black stripes there, but on the, we've got the side panel has got some kind of purple flowers and stuff on there. It's kind of all over the place. <coughs> Excuse me, just like me today. So yeah, this is from Express. No fancy designers on this one, but it's just uh, been one of my favorite shirts for quite some time. My buddy Brad out there in Florida, he helped me pick out this shirt. I'm not going to tell you how many years ago. Uh, but anyway, uh, love you, Brad. Hope you're watching. Um, and then the watch. I've shown this watch before. This is my vintage Swatch Turquoise Bay. Check that out. 1988 vintage on this guy. I've got the, the turquoise colored uh, face on there with the kind of skeletonized. You can see all the workings on the inside. Got the gray band with the yellow buckle. I mean, nothing says 1980s like that kind of watch, right? All right, so that's the watch, that's the shirt, that's the game, that's what we're doing. Let's dig into some cool horns today. We're going to start, we're going from big to little today. And uh, we have a, a segment of the trombonanza, or the trombonathon today. We'll start with the trombone. Anyway, and this is a big dog. Oh my gosh, this case weighs more than I do. Um, this is a professional grade Getson trombone. This is the model 3047 AFR. We'll talk about what all those numbers mean here in a minute. But, uh, whoo, doggies, check this. Whoa, is that case going to stay there or is it going to fall? Well, there we go. We got it rocked back here. All right, so here we go, guys. This is the Getson 3047 AFR. You got some cool looking things there, and we're going to talk about that in just a second. So what do we got here? We've got a professional grade trombone. I mean, US made, handmade, beautiful horn. Um, this has the eight and a half inch rose brass bell. Okay. And this is the detachable bell. So if you are the kind of trombone player, you like to, you know, swap out bells. You want to put a gold brass or a yellow brass bell on here, or heck, you want to get a Butler carbon fiber bell to throw on here. You can do that too. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, large bore, 547 bore. Uh, this is an open wrap design. The rest of the brass is all yellow brass with the nickel silver appointments on the slides. But uh, what do we got going on here? This is the axial flow rotor. And man, super smooth trigger action on that. Um, the idea and concept behind this is it gives you a much straighter flow when you're using the rotor section or the uh, the F attachment, as we call it. Um, so much less resistant, much more free-blowing. Uh, fantastic feel on that. It's got a kind of a conical shape to it. I don't know if you can really... Yeah, you can see that on there. Um, so just a fantastic horn. Really smooth, uh, free-blowing. Axial flow rotor. I think they also call this like a Thayer, if I'm not mistaken. You trombone guys can correct me on that. Um, so, all right, so that's the upper section. Let me show you the slide here real quick. Um, make sure I get that back in the case correctly. This comes with a, I think it's a, I want to say a Griego mouthpiece. Got, I apologize, somebody uh, got to this before I did with some fingerprinties on there. Um, and we've got that, you know, that funky blue tape. I'm going to take that blue tape off of there so you can see what's going on down here. If I can do it with my gloves on. I don't know if I can. Oh, there we go. Got it. Ah! They put this blue tape on during shipping just to kind of protect, get at an extra level of protection. Okay, so large bore. We have the yellow brass outer slide with the nickel silver, chromed nickel silver inner slide. Super smooth action on that. 
we have the nickel silver crook at the end of the slide. So guys, this is a top notch, upper grade professional horn from Getson, 100% made in America. You need to get this horn, guys. It's available for you right now on our website at palinmusic.com or give me a call, 417-882-7006. We got some comments here. Josh Janes, I think it is. Beautiful horn, go ahead and send it to Hollister. Well, hey, I can send you an invoice. Give me a call, give me your email. I'll send you an invoice. You can hit the buy now button and I will ship it to you today. Or, you know, just go online to palinmusic.com and hit the buy now button, take it home. We'll get it to you, jo uh, Josh. I almost said John, but you're Josh. Thanks for watching, buddy. Appreciate you out there in Hollister. All right, so that is instrument numero uno. I think it's time for some music. Time for some music. Okay, this is where I diverge and kind of go all over the place. So do you ever have a moment where you're listening to a piece of music and you just start like weeping? <laughs> I'm that kind of guy. I'm a, I'm a weeper, guys. I cry, I cry at the drop of a hat. Uncle Ken, if you're watching, you know what I'm talking about because you do it too. So this wasn't the music that I was planning on sharing this morning, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, all right, just, just go along with me and laugh if you want, but I love, absolutely love, love, love this album. Love this song. Love the performance on here. Let me start out with the album cover. I don't have the like the physical one here, so we're just gonna have to go old school. That is Barbara Streisand. Yeah, I know, Barbara Streisand. This is her album, Encore, uh, which is Movie Partners Sing Broadway. So it's a duet album where she has joined up with many different well-known actors that are film actors that also happen to be able to sing and they join her singing top Broadway musical songs. Okay, so that's the album Encore. The song in particular is the song that starts off the first one on the list. Uh, I know, you can laugh, but man, I love this. This is, uh, the song is called, I don't know if you can see that, this is on my Spotify playlist. The song is called At The Ballet. All right, so, why? What? What is going on with this song? So she performs this song, Barbara, Babs, whatever you want to call her, um, with two amazing female artists. One is Daisy Ridley. Now, a lot of you, unless you are like huge Star Wars fans, you may not know who Daisy Ridley is. She's a British actress, but she played Rey in all of the new Star Wars films, you know, the last three uh, what is it? Uh, uh, the Disney trilogy. Yeah, the Disney trilogy, basically. So, uh, uh, the Rise of Skywalker, the uh, the Last Jedi, and, and Force Awakens. And Force Awakens. Yeah. So she's in all of those, and she's phenomenal. She's beautiful. Didn't know she can sing, but she sings her tail off in this song. And the other one, which I'm sure you guys have heard of, Anne Hathaway. I mean, golly, such a beautiful woman, she's an amazing voice. She's a very trained soprano. Um, you, know, you may know her from, I think she got an Academy Award for her performance in Les Mis, Les Miserables, you know, for those of you who like the French pronunciation. Um, but this song is from the musical A Chorus Line. Now, the first time I heard this song, it didn't really register. And I had never seen A Chorus Line. And then I saw A Chorus Line, saw it performed by the people, and it totally brought it home for me to see what this song is truly about. And it's like these little girls that just wanted to be ballet dancers and what they went through in their lives to get there. And it's, it's a powerful song, guys. And it's, man, I'm telling you, I was listening to it on the way to work this morning and I'm like sobbing in my car. I know, I, I do it. It's, you know, it's what I do. All right, so anyway, enough about the song. This, let me reiterate what it is. It is Barbara Streisand, Encore. Um, movie partners sing Broadway. The song is at the ballet with Barbara Streisand, Daisy Ridley, and Anne Hathaway. You need to check it out. You need to listen. The whole album is phenomenal. The other artists on there, we've got uh, Patrick Wilson. We've got, um, who else? Anthony Newley, Alec Baldwin, Hugh Jackman, Melissa McCarthy, Seth MacFarlane singing Pure Imagination. Oh my gosh. Insane. 
uh, Antonio Banderas, Chris Pine, Jamie Foxx, all-star cast, guys, so check that one out. Um, all right, so that is, that's my music choice for today. I've got another thing I'm going to show you in my show me something cool section, um, and it's a little goofy, but I'm going to do a little, kind of a two-part show me something cool, because there's just something that I want to share with you after that. All right, so, whew, that's a lot of talking. <laughs> I was not expecting you to go with Babs. I know, right? Nobody's expecting me to go with Babs, unless you know me. I mean, if you know me, you're going to know me. And, you know, I just listen to all kinds of stuff. Nash, thanks, my friend, the Dream Team. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning to you, my friend, our fearless leader around here, Nash, uh, keeping things running, keeping us in business out there. Thank you for watching and joining in here. All right, let's go to horn number two. I got the Mickey Mouse gloves back on here. Uh, this is one of those kind of horns that won't get fingerprinty, though, even if you're not wearing gloves. So don't really need to wear the gloves, but I'm going to do it anyway because... It makes me look fancy. All right. So this horn, my friends, this is a buffet. Yes, buffet crampon. It is French. Oui, we've got a lot of French going on today. Um, the Buffet 400 series, professional tenor saxophone. Look at that. Man, these are just really beautiful horns, guys. If you haven't seen them or played them, they're amazing horns. Uh, my friend Maggie plays one of the, I think her alto, is it her alto? Yes, I think it's her alto, uh, is a, uh, the Buffet uh, 400 series, and she absolutely loves it. She uh, works for us sometimes on the weekends and is teaching out there, doing some student teaching and all that. Uh, Maggie, if you're watching, love you. Hope you're watching out there. So what do we got? All right, we got a professional grade tenor saxophone here. We've got double braced arms on the lower bell keys. We have the high F sharp. We've got the front F. We've got the left hand spatula brace for stability of uh, your regulation and and uh, setup we have beautiful three-point bell brace that really keeps things stable and in position um, gorgeous hand engraving i don't know if you can really see that I'm getting uh, some uh some uh i don't know what are you ra not radiance what's the word uh luster on this really cool um dark they call this the antique or matte finish kind of a brushed finish but you've got engraving all the way around all up the back and even on all of the key cups i don't know if you can see that on there but we've got the mother of pearl key touches with the beautiful engraving guys this is a pearl horn and this is affordable in fact i think we've got these even on special right now so check it out on the website leather italian leather pads metal tone boosters detachable bell i mean this is, this is everything you want in a pro horn at an affordable price, guys. So this is the Buffet 400 series. Profe look at, oh, I didn't even show that. It's even engraved inside the bell. Ooh. Look at that. Isn't that pretty, Max? It's pretty. It's pretty. That, there's a pretty horn right there. All right, so come and get it, guys. Live right now on our website, palinmusic.com, or give me a call. For, I didn't show you the neck, did I? Here's the neck. Even the neck has engraving on it. Look at that. Woo! Okay. Palinmusic.com or 417-882-7006. Max, thanks for the assist on the zipper on this case. Much appreciated. You can take that one away. And yeah, so that's horn number two. We got one more special one for you today. But all right. Is Max, it time to get goofy and cool? Time to get goofy and cool. Um, yeah. It's Friday, guys, and uh, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button. Share this with your friends and family and everybody you know. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers before we end this show today. We've got to get the coffee down. How's All right. the coffee today, Greg? What's that? How is the coffee today? Oh, man. We, uh, we got some new Hawaiian coffee. I don't know if it's a, uh, from uh, Kona. I don't know, maybe. Man, it's really good though. Super nice coffee. All right, I got a twofold uh, wacky, what, wacky. Well, I don't know. I'm just wacky. Um, let's start with this crazy thing, and this is in tribute to my little brother. He knows what I'm talking about. Even my big brother. Both of you guys, Dan, Mark, you remember this? This record album right here is called "Sounds of the Silly Surfers" by the Weirdos. <laughs> I know. I'm weird, right? 
But man, this is so cool. This came out in 1962. And on the other side, we've got uh, the sounds of the weirdos, okay? So th this side is all about like surfing, the California, uh, but it's kind of a, a comedic play on like the Beach Boys and whatnot and stereotypical surf characters. We've got Cowabunga, we've got Woody on a safari, Grimmy out of control, Beach Bunny catching rays, Ho Dad making a scene with a six pack, Hot Dogger. And then on the back, we've got like everything about the hot rod scene. Uh, Digger, Drag Hag, Ensville, Eddie, Huey's Hot Rod, so on and so forth. Fun, fun comedy record. It's actually a rare record to find, and I scored this on eBay at a super low price. I've never seen it for like less than 100 bucks, but uh, I got this one at a much lower price than that, and it sounds great. You can find these songs on YouTube. I don't think you can find them streaming anywhere else. I don't think it was ever released beyond this, but man, if you want some fun, check this out. Um, these characters were all um, plastic model kits in the 60s, you know, you, you like cars and planes and boats and trucks and all that kind of stuff that you made out of plastic with the, you know, the, the really smelly glue and all that. Um, fun characters. And then these are the songs that tell the stories of each of these characters. Um, yeah, so fun stuff. That's what I, the one thing I want to share with you. The other thing is a little bit more personal a little maybe less cool, but more uh, touchy-feely, if you will. Um, for those of you who know me, especially my friend Amy out in Texas, you know I have a nickname, Hugger Man. I'm the Hugger Man. It's me. It's what I do. I am a hugger. I love to hug anyone, anywhere, anytime. And uh, I've got this little book here called The Hug Therapy Book. So... I'm just a firm, firm hugger, but a firm believer in the power of a hug. I know there are people out there that aren't huggers. You don't like to hug. You don't like that physical touch kind of thing. But I'm the opposite of that. I love to hug. And I think a hug is like one of the most important things you can do in your life with a person to share your souls together. You can, it's healing, it's comforting, it's relaxing. It is scientifically proven to lower stress and anxiety and hypertension and uh, you lower your heart rate. It's like the first thing I do in the morning, it's the last thing I do before I go to sleep. My wife and I, we're huggers. I'll hug everybody. And I, I just think it's important. Now, I don't want you to just go out and force hugs on people. That's not what I'm talking about. Because, you know, you got to respect boundaries. You got to do that. But we've got a lot of huggers here in this company. My buddy Nate, if he's out there watching, that boy's a hugger. My brother Peyton, that boy's a hugger. You know, a lot of us middle childs are huggers. We'll talk about the middle child thing some other time. But um, there's, you know, all different kinds of hugs. You can do side hugs and soft hugs and whatever. But I, my type of hug, I call it a soul hug. It's soul refreshing. And it's just a fully committed, like, bring it in and just oh, feel it. If you want a hug from me, Come on by. I'll give you a hug. Anytime, anywhere, any place. I'm a hugger. Hug therapy. It's important, guys. We don't get to do it so much. I mean, like in the schools, and my wife's a school teacher. You're barely even allowed to, to, to acknowledge the kids, let alone give them a hug. But they need that. People need hugs. You need that comfort. You need to know that you're special. You need to know that you're loved. And there's no better way to do it than a hug. So I'm going to get off my soapbox about hugs. I'm the hugger man. Hug somebody today. Bear hug somebody. Soul hug them. Side hug. Just give them hugs. But like I said, don't force it on anyone. Let's have some fun with some hugs today, folks. All right. So we got the silly surfers. We got the weirdos. We got weirdo. We got the hugs therapy. We're talking about it all. I hope you're out there just having a blast with this show. I'm having a blast. So remember, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share, comment, question. My wife is on there. You, she says I made it. My number hasn't changed on my screen, but she says we made it to a thousand. Did we make it, Max? Does it say on your screen? My screen still says the same thing. It still says, well, we'll see it afterwards. We'll have a big celebration on Monday if that's the case. All right. So enough about all the goofy stuff about me and what I'm into. Let's show this last super cool horn. And this one, I just found this one in our warehouse. Uh, I was honestly unaware that we had it, 
but I'm super excited that we do because this is one of the hottest horns on the market right now. You saxophone players know what I'm talking about when I mention this. Um, but man, this is a cool, cool horn. Let me, I'll show you the case first. Look at that. That's, you know, these kind of modern soft-sided cases. But look at this. You can wear this case as a backpack and you can get a massage at the same time. Look at all the bumps and cushions and stuff on there. It gives you a nice massage while you're walking around wearing it as a backpack. All kinds of super cool hidden compartments in this case. But I don't know if you saw what the brand is on there. This is the uh, Andreas Eastman. Oh man, my gloves are sticking to all the Velcro on here. But guys, this is an awesome horn. This is the 52nd Street Alto Sax by Eastman. All right, that case is gonna fall over. There we go, look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. This is already a legendary horn. It's only been out a few years, but my gosh, what a killer piece. Very, very vintage, very much like, you know, like that Mark VI or like the, you know, King Super 20s, that era of horn. Uh, unlacquered, you've got the kind of antiqued raw brass finish on this. Um, the beautiful black mother of pearl key touches. Um, you do have some really delicate, hard to see, honestly, on this screen engraving of the 52nd Street. I think what if you can see it on there, there's like cars and uh, building. I mean, it's it's really cool engraving, but it's so light and delicate. It's hard to see on this antique finish, but it's cool. It's there. Uh, we've got the high F sharp, front F, you know, all of the things that you want. Full ribbed construction on this. But this horn, is a, it's got the big bell. Big bells are a trend these days. Everybody's doing them. Even Eastman, uh, adjustable thumb hook, all of that. This is the 52nd Street. The specific model is the EAS 652. Uh, oh, my mother-in-law says one that we're, we're there. It's not showing up on my screen, so I can't celebrate with the rest of y'all, but I'll celebrate anyway. We made it, guys. Uh, made it to 1,000. I love you. I'm so appreciative. Let's keep this gravy train rolling. Let's get to 10,000 by next month, huh? Shall we? <laughs> we can do it. If you all share it with the 10 of your friends, we'll get there. Anyway, this is the horn, the Eastman 52nd Street Professional Alto Sax, live on our website right now, palinmusic.com. Here's the neck so you can see that. Or give me a call at 417-882-7006. Guys, we did it. This is episode 30. We've done 30 of these. We've shown, so 30 times three, what is that, 90 horns now? Something like that, if I'm doing my math. Is that right, math? Sure. Max Max <laughs> says, I don't know. We're, do, we're doing I the am, math. I am math today. I, I don't math on, uh, on Fridays, but uh, hey, that's what we got, guys. Those are the horns. Those are uh, the cool, fun, goofy, wacky, weird things about me. Get out there and give somebody a hug today. Um, I'm gonna take my Mickey Mouse fancy gloves off to finish up this show. So, uh, do we have anything left, Max? Did I leave anything out? Just some wisdom. Ah, some wisdom, that's right, okay. Keeping me on track, Mr. Max. All right, so this is a quote today about music from the author Jane Swan. I'm not super familiar with Jane Swan. Uh, she's also a historian, uh, American author and historian. Uh, and this is what she says about music. How is it that music can, without words, evoke our laughter, our fears, our highest aspirations? So think about it. It's actually a question, but it's a quote. How is it that music can, without words, evoke our laughter, which, <laughs> This, this album, come on guys, this is gonna evoke some laughter. You have gotta check it out if you can find it definitely on the YouTubes. Um, without words, evoke our laughter, our fears, and there's a lot of dark music out there, it can make you kind of scary, and our highest aspirations lift you up. There's so much music out there, people used to work out, to pump them up, to get them excited for the day. Just, man, music is awesome. And I love sharing it with you. I love being here with you guys. We're going to hit the ground running on Monday, starting with episode 31. We've got it to 1,000 subscribers at least. I, like I said, I can't see the number right now, but I am so thankful 
for all of you for being here and supporting the show, supporting the channel, Palin Music Channel on YouTube. Um, guys, I love it. I love you guys. That's my quote for the day, my wisdom, my fun. One last thing to finish us out. Helping people make meaningful music is what we do. And when you're ready, I'm here for you too. Get out there and hug somebody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Have a good weekend and a happy Easter. Love you. Bye.